Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Annie and this is Sheep's Art. For this week's video, I finally have an unboxing for you. So on my video on the Touch New Alcohol markers, I got a comment mentioning I should compare the Touch New markers with the Uhuru brush markers. So I decided to get the skin tone set. Now this is only the 24 set. Uhuru comes in a 24 set as well as a, a 36 set. But since the Touch New markers came in a 24 set, I decided to get the same size for the Uhurus. So the comparison would be equal. Now the comparison would be the next video. For this video I'm just gonna do a small review on Yohoohoos. First, like most of you know, these have a brush tip as well as a chisel tip. Since this is not the first set of Uhu markers I own, I pretty much know what to expect from the brush nip. And I have to say, I really like this tip. I would even go so far to say it almost feels better than the Copic brush. Now the only downsides I see with Uhuhu is first the color range. You have to get the pastel set in order to get some lighter tones, which I think is quite expensive, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they sell individual markers on their site. Well, will sell individual markers. And yes, of course, Uhuhu does not have refills. But in my opinion, it doesn't matter that much. I never used refills for my Copic markers. And I have them since five or six years. And I never needed one. Also, I'm pretty sure they want to sell refills in the future. They just didn't start it yet. But yeah, that's not actually my second point. Uh, I don't really like the shape of the Uhu markers. They are quite thick, so it doesn't feel as comfortable to hold them in my hand. I don't know if other people have the same problem. It's just a preference of mine. But it's definitely not a point to not grab the Uhuru markers. Now let's look at the actual skin tone set, because that's why we're here. I'm pretty sure they actually changed their skin tone sets since so many people complained about the color range. And this should be the newer set. But again, the same point I had with the Touch New Markers, who also doesn't include a purple color to shade. I don't know what it is, if it's only me. I like to shade with purple. So I'm gonna point this out with the Uhus too. But other than the lack of purple color, <laughs> I really like the color range. They have lots of light tones and dark tones and middle tones. And yeah, that's the point of these sets. So, no complaints about that. Also, I really love these brown tones they include in the set. My copy collection only has these really saturated brown tones. And I'm happy to see that the Uhus include some desaturated ones, since I love to color with them. Let's go over to the artwork. I recently started to rewatch Wings Club. I still love this show, even if it's for kids. But yeah, I just drew a lot of fan art in the last couple of days. And I also just got Clip Studio Paint and I had to test it out. I'm probably just gonna put the finished digital piece on the screen right now. So you can see how I would normally color it, because these skin tone sets are very earthy and desaturated, so parts like her clothes doesn't look as good as it should be. But that's to be expected, that's not the fault of the set. 
that's just my own fault because I decided to color this. If you don't know Wings Club, which you should, and if you don't know it, just watch it on YouTube. Uh, this is Flora. She's one of the main characters and she's the nature and plant fairy. She's actually supposed to be 16 or 17, but my style always looks a bit older, so she looks a bit older than she actually is, but that's okay, because it's my style. <laughs> Flora is actually one of my favorite Wings Club characters. I just like that she's one of the sweetest and nicest girls in the Wings Club. Everyone else seems to be a bit uh, difficult, to say. They're all in puberty, I guess. <laughs> And she's just one of the only characters that doesn't start a fight in the first seasons. Now, after trying some of the girls, I actually decided to do a little mini-series on all of the Wings Club main characters. Yeah, I already drew Bloom in her first Magical Wings outfit. And I actually filmed the process of my digital artwork. I don't know if you want to see my process on Clip Studio Paint. <laughs> I'm fairly new to this program and the video just contains me struggling with everything. Since I don't know every shortcut yet and I just click around and yeah. <laughs> don't find anything. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. The program is pretty easy to understand if you have some knowledge of digital drawing programs. <laughs> Just let me know if you want to see my mini-series of the Wings Club Girls. But the Bloom video will go, go up anyways, <laughs> because I already filmed the process. And it would be sad if I just deleted. it. I also want to make some stickers with these Wings Club fan arts and sell them. I have no idea how to sell anything online, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna figure it out. I'm thinking about printing the stickers on some on some glitter paper, so if you turn it, they start to. To shine a bit. I think that would be pretty nice for Wings Club, but it depends on how expensive the stickers are and if it's actually gonna be worth it for me. I think it would be more intelligent to start off with some cheaper sticker paper. But these are just some plans I have for my future. I'm not even sure if anyone would buy the stickers, but I'm gonna try anyways. Oh yeah, now that we are already halfway in the video, it's time for my weekly story. <laughs> While I was unboxing the Who Who set, I had to go outside with my dog, of course, <laughs> and we found a little bird. Actually, surely my dog found the bird. It was just laying in the grass and didn't move, so I thought it was dead, but I noticed it was still alive, so I tried to pick it up. It actually tried to bite me, which is okay. It's just a very small bird, so it couldn't hurt me. Yeah, I picked it up and brought it inside, because it. Uh, we have cats and... I don't want our cats to uh, catch the bird, or well, not even catch. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't do anything because it couldn't. Since we had birds, we actually had a bird cage outside. It's not the most prettiest bird cage you can find, but it worked. 
So I just set it inside and gave it some water. It seemed to be dehydrated and I don't know, it wasn't looking good. But after it actually drank, it started to feel better and already moved around a bit and it actually ate some bird food we had left over from the winter and yeah it started to feel better I suppose it was just dehydrated and that's why it couldn't move we actually suspected that it's the same bird my dad accidentally catched in a fishnet we would have never thought we would catch a bird in a fishing net because it was hanging on a wall <laughs> and it was hanging there for years and it never got anything in it so it was pretty surprising to see that a bird could be get stuck in these uh, nets so we actually took it down and yeah it was broken since we had to cut it open to get the bird free and now it's in the trash. <laughs> uh, the bird that got caught in the net actually flew away, but it didn't fly far. And I guess it just it just crashed a few meters from our house. My dad actually didn't notice. But it's fine, we found it and it, it was better after we gave it some water. And I could let it free after an hour or so. I think I'm gonna put on a picture of the bird since it was so cute. But yeah, that's the end of the story. The bird is fine, it flew away. And actually, as I found it, there was a second bird sitting next to it. It flew away when Shoddy came. And when it flew away, the same bird came and just looked after it. Yeah, I just thought this is a really cute story I could tell. Now we're almost at the end of this video. Again, I just want to say I still love these markers. And I feel like they're better than the uh, touch new markers, but I'm gonna get into that when I actually do the comparison. Let me know which Wings Club character is your favorite because I really want to know if anyone else is this hyped about Wings Club and if it's not only me. But I'm pretty sure on Instagram there's actually a trend going on with Wings Club. Lots of artists I follow just through the gang. And also there's the Netflix adaptation they recently made. Uh, yeah, I watched the show. <laughs> if you don't think about that it's based on Wings Club, it's okay, it's fine. But uh, I don't know if you should uh, compare it to Wings Club at all. But we don't have time anymore. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing and liking this video. And that's it. Have a nice day!